Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Anne and thank you for joining me today and thank you so much to everybody who has been subscribing. It is so incredibly encouraging. Today I want to show you how I carry the Swiss Champ. Now in the last video I made, well last real video I made, I made a big deal about how big and enormous and giant the Swiss Champ is and I uh, showed you a few different ways that I have gotten the same functionality out of carrying like two Swiss Army knives. But actually, I haven't found this to be as challenging to carry as I initially thought. Now, the reason I originally had the courage to get this Swiss Army knife is because I figured I have a purse. Everybody who says this is too big to carry it is trying to put it in their pocket. I'll just put it in my purse and it will always be with me. This is a uh, opportunity to show off my Tory Burch purse. This is definitely the nicest purse I own. Fantastic hardware. Highly recommend. <laughs> and it's also good for carrying Swiss Army knives. But maybe you are not the purse person. What about this? This is a Chums Surf Wallet. Very lightweight. It seems very well constructed. For a while, it seemed very popular in the EDC community, although I haven't heard much about it lately. But it fits a Swiss Champ pretty easily, honestly. It is not a big deal to fit the Swiss Champ in there. And you can still fit um, a couple cards and money on the opposite pocket. There are two zippers on this plus an external pouch. I would not recommend keeping the um, Swiss Champ in this pouch out here. I've done that and it fell out. Not fun. Um, but it really does fit inside the zippers here, and it makes an, a wallet carry option, I guess, for the Swiss Champ, which is pretty incredible. I realized after I'd been carrying the Swiss Champ for a little while that it's not like I only want it with me when I'm outside the house. Usually when I'm at home or around where we are, then I really like to have it with me. So I looked for some other ways to keep it on my person. And this honestly is the most straightforward. I wear an apron a lot of the time when I'm either, you know, cooking or just doing things around the house to keep my clothes clean and putting it right in the pocket. Very easy and uh, straightforward way to deal with that. Now, you may not be an apron person, and so you may have uh, some other things you'd like to try. I've got a couple options to show you here before we get to the point of putting it right in your pocket, which does work, but it just doesn't look that good. All right, so here's one. This product is from Hide and Drink. Now, I also bought the belt. I don't remember how much the belt was, but this was approximately $10 or $11. This pouch is always open. I can slide the Swiss Champ in, and it really stays in there. The retention on this is fantastic. It's not actual retention. It's just pressure, right? But it really does work well. A little pressure on the back lets me get it out. And I kind of overdid that there, but usually I just give it a little squeeze and then pull it out. It is not going to fall out. I actually think this looks pretty cool. It like totally fits my style. This totally works for me. So that is my number one favorite way to carry this. So hide and drink. Um, it's available on Amazon. And I got to say, you guys, hide and drink people, you really need to change the name. Hide and drink does not sound, uh, doesn't sound like a healthy lifestyle plan, but the products do seem really good. I believe that they're made in Guatemala by local artisans and I've had uh, no problems, although I do imagine in some kind of collective like that, like the, the quality may vary. Uh, okay, so here's another option. This is a belt holster from Victorinox. I have it on the belt here so you can see. This is a one and a half inch 511 belt, if you're interested. The Swiss Champ fits right inside. I'll take it off the belt to show you. Velcro closure. Swiss Champ fits in. And yeah, sometimes it closes a little wonky. So here you are. I like this option. One thing I like about this holster is that like the one that I've got on here, uh, it fits close to your body, close to your belt, because the belt is part of the leather that actually makes this. There's no separate clip on the back, which makes the knife sit like offset from your body. It's held in closer, so you're not like banging into it and it isn't in the way. The only reasons I don't like it, it's not, I don't know, I don't love Velcro. It's not totally my style and the, the vertical knife holster just, I don't know, it's just kind of not my thing, but I do use it when I'm wearing a black belt because I don't want to put the brown holster on a black belt, which maybe is not a thing for everyone. Okay, so Working on, if you are not a fan of any of these options, then another thing that you can do is uh, put this directly in your pocket. Now, that's fine. I don't think it looks very good. It's not a very feminine kind of look when you've got this big knife in your pocket. And women's pants really have small pockets, as you may have heard. Now, I do have here, though, a pair of, 
And this was an attempt. Literally, I bought these pants to carry the knife. This is a pair of Dickies uh, work pants. They have um, some cargo pockets out here. And it is fine to put the knife in there. No problem. It kind of sits sideways at the bottom of the pocket here. And that's okay. Um, I can't fit my cell phone in the cell phone pocket here, though. So I looked for another option. And I think I accidentally stumbled on a, um, a kind of better option than just putting this in the cargo pocket. And so let me show you. This is a cell phone pocket here. And it's designed to let your cell phone slip right in. I'm going to turn the pants inside out so you can see what I did. So here's the inside of the pocket, which I got to say, women's pockets aren't like this. This is the most masculine looking pocket I own. <laughs> Uh, so what I did is I just sewed, I didn't use a machine or anything, I just sewed up through here so that when you put the knife in, and I can kind of do this upside down so you can see, the knife doesn't fall down sideways. It stays right there. Can you kind of see the knife is right there? And now I actually almost have another whole pocket space here for another tool or whatever. And this keeps it easy to access. There's no problems with that. Um, typically the uh, little lanyard stays up on top and it's easy to grab, no problems. And it's always vertical so it doesn't get lost. Even in that pocket, the Swiss champ will go in and then turn sideways. And then you really have got to get your hand way down in that pocket to get it. So I bring this up not because I'm like some seamstress, uh, you know, some amazing seamstress, but I bring this up because I've seen a lot of people modify their knives to make it easier to put in their pockets, but I really haven't seen anybody modify their pocket to make it easier to carry their knives. So that's kind of my other thing. I don't, I don't love these pants, but I do wear them from time to time. I know that they are not something that would apply to women in every location. I live in the Midwest United States, and occasionally wearing Dickies work pants won't you know, like put you on the uh, never speak to list in the social realm, but I'm sure that's not the case everywhere. So uh, something to consider with whatever clothes you feel comfortable wearing. Okay, now moving on from that, I just wanted to kind of mention it's silly a little bit that I and a lot of people talk about how it's ridiculous to keep something this big with you all the time because of cell phones. We all are carrying our cell phones basically all the time. And if it's not on you, it's sitting on the charger next to you. I actually do the same thing with the Swiss champ. I sit it on the table next to me. I set it in the cup holder when I'm driving in the other cup holder because one is occupied by my cell phone. So it really isn't that huge of a deal. And the functionality on the Swiss champ is amazing. Anyhow, I hope that you've enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for joining me. And please let me know, let everybody know in the comment section below other amazing ways you have found to carry the Swiss champ.